Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Grizzly Digital Network. I'm Matt Mahoney. We're joined today by head men's soccer coach, Steve Deku. Coach, how are we doing? Very good. Coach Deku, I have to congratulate you not only for the two wins this past weekend, but hosting the GGC tournament. How did it go in your eyes? You know, things went very well. Uh, this is hopefully going to become an annual tradition. Uh, the feedback from the opposing coaches, they love the facilities, they love the fields. Uh, they loved the first class reception they got from everyone here in the staff and the, and the way that we just uh, made them feel welcome. After watching four games in two days, four teams, GGC, Thomas, AUM, and also Milligan, what was your impressions after watching those four games? It's early, and so the way that the teams are today is probably not how they're going to be uh, come tournament time, but um, Milligan was a national tournament team last year. Uh, AUM comes in number five in the nation. Thomas is top one of the top two or three teams in the Sun Conference. And for us to get the results we did and the play the way that we did, and we didn't play our best, but uh, a lot of positives going forward, and so we're excited to uh, continue on with the season. AUM, number five team in the country. We beat Thomas. Thomas beats AUM. What does that do for the psyche of your team? Well, according to the fans, <laughs> then we should beat AUM, but we know that's not the case. We know that on September 11th, uh, we've got our hands full. Um, the psyche is, though, the boys know they can play with AUM. Um, not in an arrogant way, but uh, even last year when AUM came in here and beat us 1-0, that was kind of a watershed moment for the program in that they were top five in the country and we gave them all they could handle. Uh, but the important thing is going to be to go to AUM, to do your job, to get a result, score a goal, and uh, hopefully get out of there with a positive result. Grizzlies go 2-0 on the weekend. Coach, are you more impressed with the fact that we scored five goals in two games and only gave up one goal in two games? Well, if you compare it to last year's goal total, we are so far behind. But no, <laughs> realistically, after the preseason we had and the amount of goals we were giving up, to give up one in two games, I'm much more pleased with, uh, with the defensive effort. Who gets credit for that? Really, it's a team effort, but um, you know, I think it comes down to two rookies. It's Rude Grohl, center back, and uh, Lewis Sharp, goalkeeper. And the reason I say that is Rude uh, was brought in because he's a good player, but also because of the leadership and the communication he could uh, bring to the group. And by his improving and increasing the communication, it's forced others to do the same. And so we've got guys who last year maybe were a little bit quiet, and this year they're just talking and helping each other through. Whereas Lewis, you know, it's impossible to replace a Greg Hartley, but a couple of the saves he made this past week were just great. And with a 6-6 frame, anything in the air he snatched up. You talked about last week the depth is one of the strengths of this team. We saw it this past weekend. Cal Moore D comes off the bench. Martin Lugo comes off the bench. Both of them heavy contributors as well. Was that a good sign? Were you happy to see that? Well, it's a great sign. It's a great sign. And uh, we told the boys, you know, you, your opportunity is going to come. We don't know which game. We don't know when. But when you get that opportunity presented to you, you've got to make the most of it. And uh, those two did. And we're, you know, very proud and pleased with the performance and just waiting to see who's going to step up next. Any surprises from this past week and you didn't expect that occurred? Yeah, I, our defending was much better. In the preseason, we were a bit uh, bit all over the place, but part of that's my fault because we were just experimenting. Um, we spent this past week in training getting the boys ready, how our defensive shape was going to be, where we should line up, um, and they did a much better job than we anticipated. Can we improve on the first two games? Always, always. If we don't stop... If we stop improving, then we're regressing and then we're in trouble. And so you know, we can be better with, uh, in, the, in the attacking end. How many chances? Do we, in the first game, we created 15 chances. Only three hit the target. We've got to do a better job with that. In the second game, we let uh, Milligan kind of dictate the way we wanted to play. We got caught up in silly fouls, which led to their free kicks. So we've got to do a better job keeping our emotions in check, understanding the style of the referee, and then just slowing the game down, taking the air out of the ball is, is the way we say it, um, and just dictate tempo a little bit better. Well, big matchup this Saturday. Embry Riddle's going to come to town here in Lawrenceville. What are you looking forward to in that match? Oh, Coach Gregson's team is uh, uh, picked to win the conference, in the Sun Conference. Uh, they're, in the, they're receiving votes in the top 25. Uh, I've played his team in years past, and they're very well coached, very well disciplined, very good team. It's another big opportunity for us. Um, if we were to get a positive result, this is going to send a message to the rest of the country that, you know, we are for real. You can check out Steve Deku's men's Grizzly soccer team this Saturday, 7 o'clock, versus Embry-Riddle pregame show at 645 with yours truly. Coach, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. This is the Grizzly Digital Network.